Welcome back to ITV Film, where we feature the best in writers, directors, producers, and filmmakers from around the world. I'm sitting here at Crypticon 2009 with literary badasses Skip and Goodfellow. How's it going this evening, guys? Very good. Awesome. So tell me a little bit about what your involvement is here at Crypticon 2009. We are guests of honor here. We were flown in from Los Angeles, where we work, where we live and work and play, and um, uh, asked to spend a weekend with all you fun people, which we are enjoying immensely. Awesome. So what's been some of the highlights you've seen in the show? I mean, I know you guys have your book table over there. Tell me a little bit about that. And then are you serving on, are you on any of the panels, the discussions? Let us know what your involvement is. Well, we've had, a, we've had a ball here. We've done some panels on uh, Lovecraft's continued uh, influence in popular culture and on vampires. And why I think they're idiots. We're again them. But uh, we've also done a lot of innovative things like a round-robin story composition uh, contest, which sort of combined the ancient uh, human traditions of oral storytelling and blood sports. That was a lot of fun. Uh, getting it was to, nuts. Getting to see a lot of, our, uh, a lot of old uh, horror icons. Uh, you know, people like Bill Johnson, uh, Reggie Bannister, and uh, Don Coscarelli, and Ken Forey. Absolutely, and Ken Forey. Absolutely, superhero Ken Forey. That's been that's been a blast because we're as big of fans as we ever were. I'm still trying to work him in for an interview on ITV, but you're right. The amazing people that are here that you just grew up. You never, I never thought I'd ever meet them in real life. And here I am. I'm interviewing um, Lloyd from Trauma. Oh, Lloyd. Um, you know, talking with Tom over there. You know, I'm just like. Wow, you know, the, this is an amazing convention. Is this your first Crypticon? This is our first Crypticon, absolutely. Hey, and let's uh, not forget the Babysitter Twins. Oh yes, the, the Babysitter Twins. I'm trying to get them in on an interview as well from um, Planet Terror. So, um, you know, tell me a little bit about your books. You're holding two books, or you have one book here. Cody Goodfellow, you, now there's yours out of your pocket. John, you go first, tell me about your book. Um, I've been writing for uh, 20 some years. I'm a New York Times best-selling author uh, and uh, I recently came back into the game with, uh, with Leisure Books with Leisure Books and uh, a title called The Long Last Call. Since then, Cody and I have begun writing full-time and our first novel together is called Jake's Wake. I'm very, very proud of it. He's brilliant. Great fun to work with. Um, this book is about a corrupt uh, small-town televangelist who comes back from the dead and starts to torment the women in his life, his ex, his widow, uh, his Bible girl who helps him with his little ministry, and his favorite prostitute on Judgment Day. So uh, it, it's all just this long night of terror, and uh, it was a blast, total blast to write. Awesome. Um, Cody, tell me a little bit about your involvement with the, with the series as well, or the book. I mean, is this a series? That you guys, do you guys write a series or just one book? No, we're doing standalone books. Standalone uh, books? Our, our characters couldn't possibly stand up to a second outing. Um, okay. And we like it that way. Uh, we, uh, well, Skip was already uh, looking at developing Jake's Wake as a film project, as uh, to cut his teeth as a director, and uh, had worked up a script, and when it came time to develop the novelization, or not a novelization, but the novel version of it, which, yeah. you know, e each one grows the other. Uh, doing doing it as a book, it's a standalone thing, which in turn influences what the movie is going to turn out to be. Uh, we, uh, he came to me and just said, let's work together on this, and we jammed together on music, we worked on some short stories, and writing together we'd worked out a, a way of doing it that is a lot like jamming doing music, where you each bring your ingredients and your common influences and the, and the divergence of your interests really work together, and we just riff and bounce ideas back and forth and it's really like play, and we were able to uh, able to burn this thing out so so fast, and uh, that it we never it never felt like work. We were, it, was, it was constantly we were writing the book rather than writing it. It's called fun. Wow, that still happens nowadays. Yeah, yeah, I'm a big fan. <laughs> oh, awesome! So am I. <laughs> they are, they are. So tell me a little bit about this trailer that's been made, John. You went and went and made a trailer for for one of the books. Well, basically for Jake. Um, because it was originally written as a film, originally a screenplay. Uh, I did a little spec for it, uh, a couple of minutes spec, threw a couple of grand into it with my production partner, and uh, it was actually at the point that I cast him to play the homicidal sidekick of Jake the Undead uh, Evangelist uh, that we realized, wait a minute, you know, he's got a stake in this story. Um, so yeah, shot this thing, I directed, produced, wrote it, uh, co-wrote it, and um, it was a lot of fun, and 
helped me get my chops a little bit closer. Um, I dropped out of writing for a while and put myself through film school and uh, because I didn't want to be just a writer in Hollywood. That's like uh, the worst life in the <laughs> world. Um, so, yeah, this is our special bleep uh, button now. Um, That's a good idea. And, uh, yeah, so I directed this cool thing. Uh, let's take a peek at it. Awesome. We will take a peek at that after, at that after this interview. Um, you know, is there anything you want to let our ITV viewers know before we take a peek at that film? That uh, trailer, I should say? Um, reading is good, and we'd like to recommend you do so. Uh, if people write it properly, reading is also fun. Uh, one of the things with this book and with this book, uh, The Long Last Call, which is also in pre-production for film right now, um, is that they can be read in about the time it would take to watch a, a movie uh, or a good one. Just to let our ITV viewers know, that is actually him self-bleeping his own yeah. censored words out, just so, so you don't think he's just kazooing over the mic. So, so you don't have to. I'm censoring myself so you don't have to. That's a fucking great idea. <laughs> Hey, well, guys, thank you. Oh, go ahead. One more thing? One more thing, yeah. If you go to skipandgoodfellow.com, that's skip with two Ps, and goodfellow.com, you'll find out a lot more about the uh, books, be able to check out the trailer at your leisure, and whatever else we're cooking up for the future. Awesome. That rocks, guys. Well, thank you very much for coming on ITV. It was a pleasure. Thanks, Darren. It's Absolutely. You. Thank you, John and Cody. Don't forget, you can go to our website, itvnw.com, where you can register to become an ITV VIP member, and to win free prizes and win guest appearances on the show. This is Darren and John and Cody coming to you from Crypticon 2009 in Seattle, Washington. We'll be right back. I'm attorney Alexander Ransom. Have you been charged with a DUI or faced any other criminal charges? If you're in trouble with the law, you need a trial attorney who's aggressive, experienced, and effective. Call today for a free consultation, the law offices of Alexander Ransom. I look forward to serving you and getting your criminal charges reduced or dismissed. Call today. The law offices of Alexander Ransom. Call today.